And and people can find you on Facebook, I believe. Yeah, I have a little um, a little thing called Celestial Adventures. You'll find that on Facebook, and as long as it's not too far away from Luxembourg, I'll go to your. You can put together a group, and I'll go and spend the night showing you. Asteroids, comets, galaxies, star clusters that explain what you're looking at. Because I've got this idea that everybody should have a chance to see the universe through a big telescope. So it's and not only that, but you're really wonderful for the general audience out there because you're showing us how we can do it ourselves. Yeah. Even without huge scientific knowledge, we can go out there and we can even try ourselves to see these asteroids. Well, that's right. Many people don't realize this because they read about asteroids and, and so on. But actually, with a pair of binoculars on your balcony, you can look at some of the, the brighter asteroids and you can actually follow them moving from night to night. You can look at Vesta for instance, who we were talking about earlier. And um, you don't need expensive equipment. There's a great free program called Stellarium. Download that onto your laptop and you'll be able to make a little star chart. You'll find it for yourself easily and it's so much more rewarding when you can see things for yourself. Well, as a reward to you, I know that you've discovered a few things yourself and I believe you've even got an asteroid named after you? Yes, I have actually. That was very kind of the International Astronomical Union. But um, uh, some years ago, I was, well, I, I, I've been very active in what you call asteroid astrometry, that's measuring the positions of, of near-Earth asteroids. And um, for my contribution, they named an asteroid after me. So there's a Matt Dawson up there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you see Luxembourg, you've lived here for about 38 years, I believe, yeah. and you see their investment in space. Are you involved in that, or have you any ideas for the government? Well, I'm, actually, I'm not, because I'm more into the observing side, but I'm really interested in it, and I think it's going to be a huge success. And um, it kind of runs in parallel. The great thing is that the technology they're developing to mine asteroids is similar to the technology we're going to need to deflect asteroids. So it's win-win for everyone. And when you see all of these young people behind us from Steinzel, which is actually where I live, <laughs> by the way, um, have you any advice for them and their futures? Well, yeah. I mean, I got interested in astronomy when I was about their age, and many kids do, and they kind of other activities take over. Well, with me, they never did. So keep looking at the sky. And you see all of these great initiatives, space in the future, and we're literally in front of us we have the great and the good of the astronomical world. What, would you like to go into space yourself one day? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid of heights. No, but I'm, an, I'm the lone amateur here, and it's just overwhelming for me to meet and talk to all these professionals, many of whom I've, I've, I've admired their work for years, and it's just wonderful. Well, you can inspire us all. You've given us all the chance to feel that even without years and years of research and hard work, we can just look at the night sky. Yeah. And hopefully people can log into your Facebook, Celestial Sky? Celestial Adventures. Celestial Adventures, mm -hmm. and find you there. And now it's back to Brian for the next panel.